Okay, guys, when I see those gates, that's how I get back. Hopefully I can remember. I wanted to see if I could get to that bridge, but guys, I had that whole fiasco with trying to get that tent put together and I couldn't figure it out. These two guys helped me. Look at this ocean. Let's see if we can get to that bridge. And look, if you wanted to come here and grab a bottle of wine, relax with your significant other and friends. You got tables here that nobody's even around. It's a beautiful way to spend the day or the evening. Coming here virtually for pennies on the dollar in terms of what you get for your money. When you decide to spend the day here at Bahia Honda, I think this trail leads up to the uh, to the Bahia Honda, the old Bahia Honda bridge. So I'm gonna give it a shot. I have to get back now, guys. Otherwise, there's a risk that I won't find my campsite. Maybe down here the wind's not as bad. I hope I can find my way back to my campsite. Wish me luck, guys. Ah, oh, there it is. Home sweet home. Oh, never thought I'd be so happy to see that Lexus. So let me show you guys around. This is my tent. And uh, it's actually pretty comfortable. Okay, it's light right there. Hold on. I got another one around here somewhere. Or oh, you can hear the wind kicking up now. But there it is. Okay, I got that light switch. Look, and it looks like a light switch. <sighs> These are great. Hold on. I got a lantern around here somewhere. Here it is. It's got a switch on it too, hold on. Oh. Let there be light. And uh, it is pretty cozy. I, I got a nice little comfortable pillow that'll do me. I even have a blanket. I don't think I'll need, but I do have it just in case. And uh, it's okay, I'm safe because I have a door in my lock as a zipper. <laughs> Guys, as you can see, I am clearly shot out. Uh, it was a great day, but you can expect nonetheless from one day when you drive three hours to get to the Keys and uh, 
in the same day, you're swimming in both the Gulf of Mexico and the Atlantic Ocean, all within minutes of itself. So uh, it's been interesting. It's been uh, eventful. And um, thanks to the good graces of some neighbors that I have here. Actually, they didn't help me put together. They did put it together. I did nothing but watch and videotape. I'm actually pretty comfortable in here. We figured out how to blow up this, uh, this mattress and I got light. So it's, it's really windy out there, um, but I feel very protected in here and I feel cozy and snug as a bug in a rug. So let me show you the outside. See it? Wow. You never saw a star filled night like you did in the Keys. Um, I'm going to crash out and get some sleep, and um, I'll talk to you guys in a little while. Good night, John boy. Birds chirping, that's always a good thing. Good morning. Rise and shine. Uh, get me out of this thing. Okay, let's see if I can get this baby to ignite. Careful now. Here goes nothing. You just watch this little indicator here. And when that turns orange, it's time to brew. Pretty cool gadget. My brother Carrie got for me for uh, my birthday. Thank you, brother. Okay, it's done.
give it a couple of minutes to brew. Press your plunger, get all those grinds down to the bottom. Never leave home without it. Here's to you guys. Onward and upward. Nice and dark, not too sweet. Just the way I like it. Well guys, I gotta be honest. It wasn't the greatest night of sleep I've ever had. But it certainly was probably one of the most interesting. You know, once the lights went down, it was pitch black around here. And I'm very quiet. It got quiet pretty early, actually, I would say. Before 11 p.m. And uh, I took a walk outside. And I will tell you right now, um, I, honestly, I don't think you could get to a more remote spot where you could get a better look at the stars than you can right here in the lower keys. So definitely come and check it out. So I'm gonna attempt to take that thing apart, clean up here, and uh, pull out and head back to the beach. He had a picnic table right there with a barbecue grill right on the water overlooking the bridge. And there's quite a few good spots like that here. But you gotta get them early. So guys, just to show you, this is your power that I didn't even have to tap into because I had basically all my backup battery supplies, but I was only here for one night, so. If I was here for, you know, a few days or a week like some of these people are here, I would have definitely tapped into this baby. You also have water right here, so. But guys, all in all, I must admit, this was a unforgettable trip that I really enjoyed. Definitely had a little bit of everything, adventure, intrigue, fun in the sun. I think all in all, it was a huge success. Thanks for joining me. Never knew I could play the harmonica, did you? Well, that's because I can't. Onward and upward. Larry. Brother. I just wanted to say thank you. I'm on my YouTube channel. I want to tell everybody. Not yet. <laughs> oh, well, oh, hey, listen. Everybody. There you go. He looks great. Look at that handsome man. He's great. He's my hero. He <laughs> saved me last night, or I would have been sleeping in the car or on that gravel. Larry, you're the best. Thank you, brother. You I really appreciate it. You're you guys welcome. get home safe. Hey, by the way, when I take this thing apart, it's just a matter of just pulling the thing out and it'll just come right out, I guess. Well, I'll help you one or the other. <laughs> well, no, I, I don't want to yeah, put you too deep. You just, and then you just pull it right out. It's easy, right? Yep. Even I could figure that out. You're the best. Get home safe. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you. All right. I may be sorry I didn't ask for this help, but we'll see. I should be able to figure this out. Putting it together is one thing. Taking it apart, come on, guys. If I can't figure that out, 
There's no hope for me. It's not that easy. I guess I should have took the air mattress out first. Thanks for telling me. Music to my ears. <sighs> Takes me back to my wrestling days. Oh wait, I don't have any wrestling days. <sighs> Unless you're talking about when I was wrestling the air mattress. Long trip home. You guys want to play pickup sticks? I don't. Note to self next time. Wait till you get the rods out before you take them apart. Somehow that's not what it looked like when I took it out of the bag. Guys, I cannot believe I got this thing back in here. Barefoot Vlogger strikes again. What a disaster area. And God forbid if I had to actually sleep back there. I am not this disorganized, but it just happened. Now I'm gonna organize it. Ladies and gentlemen, I gotta tell you, I couldn't tell you the last time I had a better night's sleep. And it's all thanks to this gentleman right here. Don't hold it against him that he roots for the Cardinals. We still love him anyway. Right this is the, the honorable and incredible and all omniscient herb. And, uh, Buddy, thank you, man. You're I gotta welcome, tell you, man. it was incredible. His expertise, uh, he and Larry both got that thing together, a little ingenuity and uh, cooperation, and I was able to, to have a good night's sleep. So. Oh, man, it was more fun busting on you than it was putting the tent together. They did get me pretty good, guys. <laughs> but, uh, but I did want to say thank you and uh, really appreciate it. And uh, can I bring you on the next one with me? Uh, sure, man. Where are you going next? <laughs> I don't know, probably right back here. That's a better spot, you know? This is a good one. Where are yeah, you going next? You got a, you got a favorite? Uh, Down here in Florida, especially? The next uh, spot we're going to, John Penny Camp. In Key Largo. Yeah. That's a great spot, guys. That uh, They've got some really good diving there. That's where they have the uh, the Jesus statue. I forgot oh, what they call it. I have no idea. Oh, yeah, there's a uh, there's a giant statue of Jesus. I can't remember the name of it. I'll, I'll put it down underneath, but... Um, and some other things, some like, um, that's man-made reef. Uh, Key, Key Largo has the second largest man-made reef in the world. Okay. But yeah, you'll love it down there. Even, I'm not a diver, but just snorkeling there yeah. was absolutely incredible and okay. definitely worth doing if, so, if, if it's something you're into. Yeah. So that's where we're heading. And then after that, uh, we're going to head back home. And where is that? St. Louis? St. Louis. Duh. Duh. Although, you know what though? There's a lot of Cardinals fans in Chicago. Why is that? Because it's close? Because it's... Chicago oh, has a yeah. suck team, man. Stupid question. Now, they only won one in 120 years or whatever it was. <laughs> I guess I should have figured that one out. But I can't put a tent together, so what do I know? <laughs> Thanks again, Herb. Cool. You're the man. Well, all right. That's it. Thanks, brother. Bye. You're the best. All right. I feel a lot better about that. What do you guys think? Yes. 
So guys, there may be more than one way to get up on that bridge and show you another perspective of it. So that's what I'm gonna investigate right now. Oh, look at this sand sculpture. This is the path that I did not take last night, so let's investigate it right now, shall we? Guys, do you have anything with a view like that where you live? I would venture to say not. Anyway, we'll check it out now during the day where we can see everything. This is a natural butterfly habitat. Not to mention a natural mosquito habitat. That's the beach I was on yesterday. The ocean I was in in the Gulf. This is the Gulf of Mexico. at that view of the Atlantic how close they get to each other Atlantic Ocean Gulf of Mexico separated by that thin strip of land so you can see this is where we were last night uh, now that I'm here and it's daylight this is the barrier another barrier right there just in case See that little island? I should have took the uh, tent there last night. Swim over there with the tent for the night. That'll be the next video. I gotta tell you, just leaning like that is scary. I'm holding on for dear life. Where are you from? Uh, North Park, Florida, south of Jackson. Oh, okay, St. John's River. St. John's River, the only river in North America. Is it? Okay. So much for my river traveling knowledge. We had our geography lessons today, guys. So long, Bahia Honda. I'll be back. Barefoot vlogger. Ding it, manja. What's the word? Manja, yeah. Manja, manja. Look at that, uh, that flatbread, guys. It's great. It's ironic. It's like the state of Florida. Flatbread, flat state. Okay, and that's it. The island ends with a cul de sac. The entire island ends with a cul de sac. Don't blink, you might miss it. 234. First view. Oh, nice. Can't beat it, guys. Oh, wow. I almost feel like I never left the keys. This is beautiful. The dock. Okay, here it is. She, guys, she just had to see this other place. So, go check it out. She still got that buzzer. Yeah. She still got the buzzer for the other place. Baby, could you throw it like a frisbee to go over the water to get it back to them in case we decide to end up here? That's a no. Like a little bit chilly because of the breeze mostly. You, you really don't feel it. Not if the rum has anything to say about it. Stuck between a rock and a beautiful place. Oh. I knew I had to drop one. Let's try.
tropical as it is, I haven't seen one coconut. I don't think I've rolled the toilet paper. It's not toilet paper. Guys, people out here having a lot of fun. Exhibit A. Say hi to YouTube! I told you they were having fun. Do again. You can also have water right here. So. That's not how to do it. Sorry, I do a lot of that. As you can imagine. One more harmonica shot, and I'll stop torturing you guys.